How cool is this? Testing, testing. We're really changing the game here. We are leveling up. Uh, Santa delivered, and uh, Santa really actually delivered for you uh, because hopefully from now on you're going to get great audio. So, fingers crossed this is working well. I think it is. Um, I think I've been able to go and check out the manual okay and get things working. I've also got a few new things as well here for the setup. I'm, I bought these, and this was all me. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you like the new layout? Um, I bought that. I thought that was really cool. It was only like 10 bucks. Um, and I found these little flags or pendants or whatever you call them. Um, I thought they looked cool. I'm happy. Hope you are happy. Hope you can hear me okay. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, awesome. All right, I'm feeling good. Let's get into it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well out there. A brand new layout and I'm feeling pretty good about today's episode. Uh, what we're gonna do, 10 of my best sold sales items, my weekly sales numbers as I always do. Uh, if you're here for the first time, I'm a full-time reseller. All I do is buy stuff and then sell it on the internet to make a profit and I do that for a full-time job and I have a lot of fun doing it, so much so that I will document it three times a week on this YouTube channel. So by all means, guys, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, it'd be great to have you on board and I'm just gonna keep putting out a bunch of content into 2021. So hopefully you get some value out of it. And for those that have been here through the last few months, welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a great Christmas break yourself. Let's dive into the episode. First item was an item that I found literally lying around my own home. I put a video out on Tuesday with regards to items that you can find around the house to flip and make a few dollars on pretty quickly. So let's dive into that and I'll show you the first one. All right, so item number one is this wireless Xbox controller that I literally found in the cupboard and I didn't even know we had it anymore. It was just lying in a bunch of cords. Um, I've grabbed it out. I know that they go for some pretty good money, um, obviously being Xbox and, and wireless as well, help things as well. The comps were telling me that it was worth about 30 to $35. This is sold for full price on eBay within the space of just a couple of days for $32.97. Unbelievable stuff just hiding in the cupboard. Um, you take out the fees, you take out the postage. I've made $21.49 off a wireless Xbox controller. So I really do think that the Xbox controllers, anything sort of gaming and consoles um, is always gonna go for some good money on eBay. And this was no exception. To make $21 profit is a good one. Do look out for it. And even if you've got it lying around the house and you're no longer playing it, well, there's some money to be made. The next item I found lying around the house was this logo board game. Now, this is a really good Australian classic, but to be honest, we just don't play it. It's been lying around the house for a very long time, so I figured I'd just get on and, and put it onto eBay. Now, this actually sold for the full price of $42 free postage, um, so I was pretty wrapped to get this one come through again within the space of just a couple of days. And when you take everything out of it, the profit that I made on this one is $29.34. So when you add the Xbox controller and this one here as well, that's a $50 profit off just two items. So, you know, there's so much money to be made literally just lying around your own home. And hopefully those two items right there just highlight the fact that you should be doing this over the holiday period. Um, you can make quite a few dollars in a pretty quick space of time. And if you're just starting out in reselling, I really do stress that it's the best way to start out. Just have a look around the house. You don't need to pay for these items. You can literally just post them up right away and start earning money. And it's a great way to learn how to go about it. So, Good luck with that. Hopefully you find some items yourself. And if you do, obviously leave it in the comments and let me know how you go. Now guys, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that I love my furniture flipping. And this week there was only one furniture piece that I had. I actually didn't go out and buy any furniture this week being Christmas week. I just left it alone for a few days. So I do need to get out over the next couple and buy a couple of pieces. But I managed to sell this white entertainment unit. Um, now I had this one I had this one actually for two weeks. It was my longest piece of furniture that I've had before it's ended up selling. 13 days it took to sell. But um, I actually bought two of these off Facebook Marketplace. And if you watched last week's What Sold episode, you would have seen that I'd sold one of these for $140. Well, this one was exactly the same. Sold for $140 free delivery. And luckily delivery was only just around the corner. So I actually sold this for 135. The lady paid me $5 for being a really fast delivery service. So I was really wrapped to get the 140 and uh, it ended up profiting me $95. So furniture, a great space to play in. My entertainment units continue to sell on a weekly basis for me. If you aren't into furniture flipping and you wanna be, 
I highly encourage you to get into these entertainment units because I've just been selling a whole lot of them. It's not the only piece of furniture that sells well, but just at the moment, it's doing really well for me. This next item was one that I had in a trip to the thrift episode. It was the rainy trip to the thrift episode, if you tuned into that one. Um, this one was a really cool one. It was just five bucks. I knew that it was gonna go on to sell for some pretty good money. And uh, I ended up putting it onto eBay because it wasn't a fake. I generally put the fake ones onto Facebook Marketplace and they still go on to sell well. But um, this one was a, a, an eBay sale and it ended up selling for $29.97 on a local pickup. Um, so when you take out the fees, I've ended up making $21.08 on this uh, training top. So this was a Gold Coast Titans NRL training top. Um, they do get looked, you know, they do get sought after. They, they do get, um, you know, purchased on eBay quite regularly. And uh, they do sell incredibly well on Facebook Marketplace too. So I always look to try and pick these ones up and you're generally buying them from around this price, sort of your $5 mark. Um, so really good result there. Happy to make the $21 profit. I think I made a typo in what you're reading there and that is the $5 that I initially paid. I haven't taken that out. So that's why that's a little bit different to what I'm saying. I wanted to put this next item into the video because it's a good brand to look out for. It was a pair of denim shorts and the brand was Volcom. So these Volcom denim shorts were picked up literally at an op shop for just, I think it was about $6.40 with my average sort of cost of goods from that op shop run. So $6.40 I paid for these and they ended up selling for the full listing price of $38.95. Now, when you take everything out, I've made a $20.29 profit here on these shorts. And if you did that at scale, a $20 profit on a single item, I think is awesome when you're in the clothing space. So I was happy to make 20 bucks. I think the Vulcan brand is a good brand to look out for. Obviously denim shorts are a lot better and will make you a few more dollars than say a standard board short or a, or a car key sort of cargo type short. Um, so denim went well, um, ended up making yeah 20 bucks on this one in profit. Sold in the space of just 17 days as well. So if you don't know much about Vulcan, do look out for the Vulcan brand because it goes on to sell for some pretty good money. Now for this next one, I was out at a car boot sale. Um, I was at a car boot sale and to be honest, on that day, there was not a lot out there to pick from. And I was at the last table, the last lady, she was an old lady and she had a few little bits and pieces and she was sort of packing up to end the day. And she said, look, everything on this table is $1. And I managed to spy this key ring. It was a VB bitter uh, beer. Uh, key ring. It also had the can opener as well or the bottle opener as well, which was I guess a pretty cool feature now, I don't think it was vintage or rare or anything like that But the comps were telling me that it was worth about $30 on eBay now I've just paid a dollar for this so the flea markets are a really cool space to buy some very cheap items that you can go on to sell for some pretty good money So if you've got any flea markets around your area, definitely get out and check them out um, I've ended up selling this one for $25.02. And when you rip everything out, we've made an $18 profit here in the space of 35 days off a $1 key ring purchased at a flea market. That's, it's just baffling to me that you can go on to sell these things for that much money. It is um, quite a large profit for something I didn't think would sell as well as it has. Um, I have put a sale on my eBay store. Um, I've, I've basically put 10% off uh, until the end of the year. Uh, and I have seen quite a number of sales come in. This was part of that. I think I had this listed up at around the $28, $29 mark. And uh, it's taken 10% off to bring it down to the $25 sale. So uh, pretty cool result there. And uh, if we have a look at the next item, it was another key ring that I bought for a dollar. So this key ring was a rugby league Winfield Cup, double-sided metal, um, nothing fancy or rare or anything like that about it. It was just a standard key ring. And uh, the comps for this one was worth about $35 to $40. And I ended up selling it for the full price of $37.80. And when you take out the postage, I've in effect sold it for $35. Uh, I did have to pay some fees, obviously, $4.91. And we've ended up making a profit of $29 for a key ring. Ridiculous. So anyway, $29 profit. It sold within the space of a month, just 30 days. And uh, I was absolutely thrilled. Two key rings bought for two bucks have gone on to make me about $50. So it just goes to show guys, get out to your flea markets, have a dig around, you know, trash to treasure. It's unbelievable what you can actually do. This next item was a Facebook Marketplace purchase quite a while ago. This We're talking 62 days ago. I've held onto this for a while. I thought it would sell pre-Christmas, um, but it hasn't. And uh, it did sell on the 10% off special that I'm currently running on my eBay store. So. 
This one was a Wii balance board, a brand new Wii balance board. And when I bought it on Facebook Marketplace, I bought it for just $15. I thought that it was just the balance board only. But then when I opened it up, I realized that they actually had four games hidden in this, uh, in this balance board. And it also had a protective case for the balance board as well. So there was some extra value there that I didn't realize I had when I bought it for $15. I thought that I could flip the balance boards for some pretty good money alone. So in the end, it's just resulted in a better um, sale price for me. I've been able to get this one after the 10% reduction for $80.99. So a very cool sale. When you take everything out of it, I've made a $40 profit selling four games and a Wii balance board. I do think that the Wii balance or the Nintendo, anything gaming and, and consoles always play in that space because it makes some pretty good money. So 40 bucks there, it's sold within 62 days, but that's okay. You usually get a better sell through rate than that. And uh, I'll continue to look out for them because I've sold quite a few of them now and they've gone on to always make quite a few dollars. And this next item is probably my favorite item to find when I'm out in the op shops. It was the ASICS Gel Kayanos. I think that these were the 22s, ASIC Gel Kayano 22s. Now, with ASICS, you can generally get anywhere between $50 to $100 for this type of shoe. The Kayano range is the top of the range. And you can get, any, I think retail, they're worth anywhere between $260 to $280. Um, so when I go to resell these, if they're in good condition, I'm always playing between 50 and 100 bucks. Now, I listed these specific ones up for about $70 and I took an offer and they have gone on to sell for $60. So still really good because I bought them in an op shop for just six bucks. They are my most favorite item to find because you're generally making about $50 when you, uh, when you pick these ones up. Now, it did sell on eBay, so I did have to take out some fees. I had to take out some postage. I was at the end of the day left with a $38 profit and they sold within the space of 46 days. So they've hung around a little bit longer on eBay to what I thought they would. I thought they would move a little bit quicker and I thought I'd get full price at $70. I have in the past, but for these ones, they were in great condition, but they just held around. They, they didn't move as quickly as I thought. Um, so we're looking at about a $38 profit and with shoes, I like to try and get anything from $30 plus in profit. So to get 38 for these is a great result. So they are my best sold sales items of the week, guys. Like I said, it was much, much quieter this week, but um, hopefully you've gained a bit of an insight into a few more things that you can look for when you're out there doing your own sourcing. Um, I'm happy to get these ones come through because they've ultimately just kept me afloat for what will be still a pretty good month. I've, I've still had a great month even with this quiet week because the first two weeks of December were so good leading into the Christmas period. Um, so I'm still wrapped with the way the month's going. I really wanna make sure that for these next few days before the year ends and we round out the month of December, that I go out and I buy a few more pieces of furniture, uh, make a few more higher sales and get Get this one up to uh, what would be pretty much an average or even a better month uh, than, than my normal month. Um, but I'll bring you a video on that over the next, basically the next week or two to give you a recap on the month of December. So hang out for that one. Let's dive into what I did on a weekly basis this week. So if I pull the map up and I show you what we did, um, I ended up selling 25 items this week. Um, so the cost of goods was $147.44. Uh, total sales, $739.87, which has given me a profit for $592.43. What was really good is that I had a profit margin of 80%, which is definitely above average 80%. It's normally at about 70. So to get it up to 80 on what was a pretty quiet uh, sales week was, was a good result. But I really went into this week, guys, knowing that I was going to be taking a few days off for the Christmas period. So there, while I was disappointed that it was a quieter sales week this week to what I normally do, I knew that it was probably coming. And I set myself a bit of a goal. If I normally at try to average $200 a day, which is what I do, last month was $200 a day for the, the entirety of last month. So I figured that this week, Christmas week, taking a few days off, let's try and average $100 a day and try and hit $700. So to be able to hit $740, I've, I've hit my goal and there's a few hours left in Sunday to be able to push this one over $800. So while I am disappointed, I'm not disappointed because I still sort of hit the goal that I had of trying to do 700. 
And uh, what are we, a few days out before the end of the year. So there's still a small opportunity there with a few days to go to try and really boost the numbers up for the month of December and round out what has been a pretty successful month. So look, it's just the ebbs and flows of sales, guys. You are going to dip and have a quieter week and you are going to balloon and have a great week. You just can't get too high when things are going really good and you can't get too low when things are going bad because that is just the game of sales. You've always just got to have a level head. So I'm not too disappointed by that. I'm still happy to put a few dollars in the bank this week and to have enjoyed the Christmas period. Um, but really looking forward to getting back into things on Monday, tomorrow morning. I'll be hunting for furniture as of tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get these sales up and I can bring you a pretty cool monthly review um, with some really good results. So uh, let me know in the comments below what your best sales item of the week was. I have been a little bit slack with my few days off and I haven't picked a featured reseller of the week that I promised I was gonna do last week. Um, I'm gonna do a double next week. Um, so let me know in the comments below what was your best sold sales item this week and I will pick out what I deem to be the best or the most interesting item. Um, so drop that into the comments and uh, I'll pick out two for next week. I promise next week I'll do it. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Uh, the new setup, the new layout, the new artwork and the microphone. Hopefully the audio has been good in this episode today. It's been slightly different, but um, hopefully it's improved things just a little bit. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. So until next time, guys, we will see you then.